Few could doubt the technology could blast through the toughest tanks. Nonetheless, initial attempts at launching hollow charge warheads were not always entirely successful. One of the more cumbersome delivery systems was the British Piat, or Projector Infantry Anti-Tank, designed by British Major Millis Jeffries. This uh, monstrosity is called a Piat, a Projector Infantry Anti-Tank. And what it really is, it's a spigot mortar. Uh, it depends on the energy of a big spring that's in here, and here's the spigot. The idea was the spigot would fire forward into the shell, and combined with the recoil from a small charge in the Piat bomb, would force the spring back and recock the weapon for the next firing. However, there was a problem. To fire its first bomb, it had to be cocked manually. To load it, stand on the base plate, twist it, stand up, cock it. That's the weapon cocked. The recoil on it was bad. Some old veterans say you required the Victoria Cross just for firing it. If the recoil wasn't bad enough, the weapon was deadly to tanks, but you had to get uncomfortably close to the target to destroy it. Max effective range on this, although the sight says 50, 80, 110 meters, if you got 40 meters out of it, you were really, really lucky. This thing's awful. I mean, this, this is just, just awful. Uh, I, I wouldn't want this. There are a lot better ways to launch a shaped charge up against armor like a rocket. 